A lot of people work past retirement, well into their 60s, 70s, and sometimes beyond. But when it comes to physicians who make life and death decisions every day, age can be a concern. San Diego Medical Facilities are approaching the controversial topic in different ways, including a local facility that screens older doctors. Here with further details are my guest, Cheryl Clark, reporting for KPBS news partner, iNewsource, and Dr. David Bazo, director of the Aging Physicians Assessment Program at UC San Diego School of Medicine. And Cheryl, let's start with you here. What's the age range of these physicians that we're talking about in the U.S. Uh, in and here in San Diego as far as defining senior? Well, I think we're talking about doctors who are, um, say, over age 65. Some medical groups say mm, an older doctor is over age 70. Some are pushing it out to 75. So it's really all over the map. Nationally, uh, the American Medical Association um, has done a survey, and they've discovered that 242,000 of the nation's physicians are over the age of 65, and some of them, including surgeons, are practicing into their 70s and even into their 80s. How about in San Diego? Like one in, how many would you say? It would be about one in four doctors are practicing over the age of 65. Of 65. Mm -hmm. Let me talk to Dr. Bazo about this. Specifically, what kind of skills or job functions for doctors are of concern um, for those who are working 65, 75, and beyond? Well, I think you can compare physicians to the general population. The same issues that happen with uh, the, the regular person as they're aging happens to the regular doctor. Uh, sometimes you slow down a little bit, your stamina may decrease, perhaps your fine motor skills might suffer a little bit, uh, your cognition may slow, and you actually may be more prone to having some cognitive deficits, you know, I forgot where my keys are, or perhaps even further than that, some of your analytical reasoning skills may start to decrease a little bit too. Well, I know the AMA recently, as you mentioned, Cheryl, uh, issued new guidelines to address this issue. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're actually working with this program, PACE, that screens older doctors. So what do you screen? How does that work? Yeah, so uh, we, we actually were looking at health and wellness in kind of the broadest sense of the term. We're looking at uh, screening physicians' general health. We do a history and physical examination on them. We do two types of cognitive screening to look at their mental functioning. We uh, look at uh, depression screening. We look at anxiety screening. We look at substance abuse. And um, we actually get a little picture also of their practice and what they do, what kind of education they get, uh, how much vacation do they take, You know, what are their hours, how many patients per day they see, all of these things that might impact uh, a person's ability to practice. So that seems pretty comprehensive. Cheryl, what are doctors saying about the ones that you talked to about this aging issue and maybe even doing screening programs like this? Well, as you can imagine, it's all over the map. A lot of doctors I've spoken with, and I've probably interviewed at least 20 of them um, on this issue, uh, some of them say, well, yeah, I, I know some guys who shouldn't be practicing anymore, but I'm not one of them. Um, they realize that there needs to be some way to address the issue. But a lot of doctors are very defensive about it, and they say, you know what, it's really other doctors, younger doctors, who cause a lot of the patient harm that we see in hospitals and ambulatory care centers. So maybe we should screen everybody. Then that's one point, and, and, and Dr. Bazo, so yeah. I, I wanna ask, why do you think doctors are working longer? Why are they, uh, you know, why is that number quadrupled since 1970? Yeah, I think there's a number of different reasons. First of all, doctors are part of the baby boomer generation, and we're just entering into the age 65. We're actually aging better than we ever had. Um, we're, we're able to be, uh, you know, 65 is the new 55 or whatever colloquialism you want to use on that. But, you know, people are, are still doing quite well into their later ages. And, you know, what we don't want to do is, is prohibit people from having healthy aging and really contributing to society because, you know, there, there is a looming physician shortage. We don't want to, you know, make sure, we want to make sure people don't leave early but we also want to make sure that they're staying safely. Okay, and we'll have to follow yeah. up on that aging uh, physicians and the impact. I wanted to mention yes. too that um, older doctors really have something to offer too. They have a lot more experience. They know their patients, and it, it would be just a shame to really write all of that off. Of course, with just um, you know. Of as course. a categorical cutoff point. Yeah. Yes, you know. and so Agreed. much to talk about, but we are out of time. So I want to let folks know that they can read the entire iNewsource story on kpbs.org. Dr. David Bazo and iNewsource reporter Cheryl Clark, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Peggy. you, Peggy.